Guess what Bob just found? Right here. Like right over there is where you found that bottle. Right up there's the, the waterfall. This one has no fuse in the end, so I guess I won't blow myself up. All right, here's my Hotchkiss shell I found in the creek. Action! It's about the size <laughs> of her head. <laughs> <laughs> it was just laying on the bottom, kind of like the one that Preston mm -hmm. found, only I got it with the metal detector. It, uh... What did it ring did, up? I don't remember. It was just <laughs> iron. It didn't seem like a very large large uh, tell them how you figured out it was a hot or yeah how you figured out it was a hotchkiss shell all right well i was uh gonna get it out of the bottom but there was a rock in the way i went to move the rock and i thought this is a very heavy rock <laughs> sure enough it, it was, was. Not a rock. <laughs> it was not a rock well that's <laughs> awesome yeah, yeah it was my first one rock. i gotta catch We'll find one more and I'll catch up to Preston. Yep, and I gotta find two. Gotta and Jeffrey's, Jeffrey's just find well two. Jeffrey's gotta start detecting who's gonna find anything. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another Southeast Raleigh Hunters episode. Today we are back out on the creek and it'll be just me. Uh, my dad's on Caroline duty because my mom and my brother are in Huntsville for a hockey practice. We're just going to be finding any more shells. Bob found this somewhere in this area. So, see you whenever we find our first signal. Oh, I have found our first relic of the day. at this spot. I don't really want to put you under because y'all won't be able to see anything. Yeah, I don't think that's artillery. To be honest, I don't even really know what that is. Well, keep it going. So, I got another good signal. It's kind of jumping around. It'll give me a random 84 at some times. But, it's just a signal on this detector that I like looking for whenever I'm hunting for stuff like shells. So, I'm just gonna go grab the pencil here, which is right here. This time it's away from all where this cloudy stuff is. So, basically everything just runs off of this thing right into the creek. And it just makes this area really cloudy. So, luckily this part, this little signals further away. Is a shell fragment. Second signal. Nice. I'm gonna have to show that to Dad and Bob. As I'm looking at it, you can see where the fuse marks are on this shell. 
that's a pretty cool one. I don't really know what kind it is. You probably won't be able to tell. But that's just a nice find. Right over here, artillery was fired right there. And that's where I found it. Shell right there. So pretty good start. So it's been quite a while since I found um, the artillery shell and that piece of junk and the crawfish, but um, I moved down a little bit to where I was over there, and I'm just looking at all this stuff that's coming out of the embankment over here. I'll probably just detect around this area for a little bit, see if we can find anything. So I moved spots again. We're over there, now we're here. And on the way here, I eyeballed this thing. I don't really know what it is. It's got some writing on the inside of it. I don't really know. So, if any of y'all know what this thing could be, I'll have to find out what it says on the inside of it. Looks like it says Ford. Like the car. Well, see you whenever I get another signal. Just some sort of lid. They're tending to be pretty close, not that deep here, but there's just a lot of silt, probably bearing a lot of stuff, so. As you can see. Keep it going. Well, just looking down. That's something I've found before. Um, it looks familiar. Huh. Well, I don't know what it is, but... Oh, I remember it. Two episodes ago, you would see it on that... Right there. Yeah, that, it must have just washed off of it. It's a sharps bullet. And a stick. Nice. It's one sharps bullet. Don't want to drop it. Got anything there? Flat bottom. Just stop throwing rocks over there! I don't know why this thing just turned off, but I see another sharps bullet sitting right there. Two sharps bullets right there. And detectors acting up. Wow. Pretty good. I came to the decision that the detector probably needs new batteries. Because earlier, it was going bing, 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 yay, I found something, I found something. So when it got camera shy, I guess, because it just wouldn't pick it up. But as you can see, the pinpointer did. And the detector, for some reason, would not. It was on. <coughs> yeah, it was on. I don't know what was wrong with it. But we're just going to put new batteries in it, and hopefully it'll do better. Right up here where we think the Ford was, we just found a buckle laying on the surface. Well, on Dad found rocks. it. Mm -hmm. So I'm back out after a lunch break, and we're going to be pinpointing for shells here. You can see where 
that's where we found the shells. My two shells were over there. And Bob's is right there. So, there could be many more in this area. And we're just going to take that pinpointer out and see if we can find any. See y'all. probably don't want to see me pull up a bunch of junk line after another, so I'm just going to put y'all up for now. Just letting y'all know, I'm pretty glad I put y'all up instead of making y'all watch all that junk being found. It's been a very long time by now. My back is really hurting. It looks like I just found a three room. Wow, that's pretty cool. 